Well, I'm joined now by Dr. Robin Carhart Harris, who led this work. He heads up the Centre for Psychedelic Science at Imperial College London. Uh, thank you for joining us. This sounds exciting. I know it's a small study, but what is there in it to make you feel optimistic? Well, the psilocybin therapy appeared to work more rapidly than the conventional antidepressant. And at the end of the six week trial, we actually saw that psilocybin therapy had a, a broader range of improvements associated with it than the conventional antidepressant. And how did it work? What was it doing for uh, the patients, the participants in your trial? So the psilocybin therapy appears to catalyze a kind of relearning process. People are able to step outside of their depression and view things with a, a kind of freshness and, a, and an objectivity. Um, and the effects of the conventional antidepressants are more about a kind of leveling out, a sort of emotional blunting. So this is sounds like more of a sense of people being able to be released from perhaps their patterns of thought. That's right. In depression, people often fall into these negative ways of looking at themselves and looking at the world. And, and so with the psychedelic, there's a kind of recalibration or a reset of people's perspective on things. I know it's early days, but do, can you see a point at which psilocybin could be prescribed, whether in the UK or elsewhere? Yes, I can. There's more research that needs to be done. It might take us three, four, five years before we have the multi-site licensing trials completed that regulators need to see. But I'm quite optimistic that, that we'll make it. And when you talk about those trials, are you talking just about the UK or are you talking about international trials? They're international. They're happening across North America and also across Europe. So where in particular are you, are you getting interest from? When you say across Europe, where in Europe? Uh, there's a few sites in the UK. Um, there are sites in, uh, gosh, a number of countries, Scandinavian countries. I think there's probably about five or six uh, European countries that um, are part of these multi-site trials. And as you looked at, at your starter trial, were there side effects? Was there, was there anything that you need to caution about at this stage? Yes, there were side effects with every medical intervention. The side effect profile in terms of number of side effects was quite equal across the two groups, but the nature of the side effects were different. So in the conventional antidepressant group, we saw things like sexual dysfunction, uh, emotional blunting, some anxiety, dry mouth, drowsiness. With the psilocybin, it, the most prevalent side effect was a headache the next day. But from your point of view, this, I think, is one of the first uh, trials to look at more than mild depression. Do you, do you really feel a sense of, of an, an opening here for those who are more severely depressed? I do. Our previous research has looked at what we call treatment resistant depression. So people who failed uh, treatment with antidepressant medication, also psychotherapy. In this trial, 90% of the sample had tried psychotherapy. So there is promise there. I think these results should give people a renewed hope that we can add to the toolkit uh, for clinicians treating depression in the future.